So yeah, large scale energy storage, small scale energy storage, um, massive markets, much bigger than EVs for um, for 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 lithium iron phosphate batteries. But also, you mentioned uh, scooters, uh, e-bikes, and uh, small mobility vehicles. Uh, very important there as well. Perhaps not as big as EV, but also a very very large market. Talking battery grade phosphate here with First Phosphate and John, and my question along the LFP battery format, uh, with the advantages it has on high safety, uh, less toxic, uh, good loading cycle. And um, why has it not picked up yet as the standard in North America with uh, General Motors and Ford, for example? Well, we're we're actually quite happy with the way things are going. We we've just seen a you know massive shift uh, to LFP battery in North America. We've seen it uh, in Europe. And in Asia, you know, even in, in Europe now, Stellantis is talking about it. They were the holdout. Every single uh, manufacturer in North America is committing uh, to, in some form or another, to LFP battery. Uh, and you know, LFP battery, which was you know expected to be you know 50% of battery chemistries by 2030, is already pretty much 50% of battery chemistries worldwide. Um, somewhere between 40 and, and 50, 60. I mean, China, I think it's it's crossed uh, over 50%. And you know we know that China is the, is the leading market in terms of electric vehicles. We have to face those facts. And if LFP is is leading the charge there, and we see it coming on a really strong trajectory here in North America and Europe, we can only surmise that it's going to go the same way. And of course, like you said, uh, Arnie, it's because of you know the the lower costs, the safety factor, um, you know the 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 the, the ability to, uh, to roll it out a, a lot easier. And it really is is picking up in you know smaller to mid range vehicles where uh, costs are really important. And it's really because the battery of, of, of mass adoption uh, we've seen with Tesla and and and, uh, and, and and Ford and some of the other companies I mean they they, they announce uh, LFP into their cars and all of a sudden boom they're dropping prices by 15 to 20 percent that's because you know a battery in an electric vehicle is sometimes up to you know 25 to 50 percent of the cost of the vehicle especially in the in the lower range of vehicles where you're not selling all, all the all the add-ons in, in the vehicle or the upgrades um, you know the battery rec- represents a large portion of, of the value of the car so if you can slash the battery because you know an LFP battery can sometimes be up to 50 to 66 percent cheaper than other forms of of battery wow you can now get the car down by 15 20 maybe up to 30 percent and that's real value and that's really important in in the auto manufacturers being able to uh, meet their uh, their electrification goals which are now starting to be implemented into law and uh, kicking off mass adoption not everybody has a a hundred thousand dollars to to buy an electric vehicle those costs got to come down it's got to come down to the forty fifty thousand dollar range and then we'll have electric vehicles everywhere and lfp batteries what does that so we've been talking about evs uh, with lfp batteries uh, dominating the small and medium segment what about energy storage for me it's one of the hidden champions if i look around in the in my network uh, people get solar panels what's the next step they want to have uh, battery storage uh, people get a heat pump what's the next step because electricity prices are high they want to get uh, energy storage so john what about energy storage and how does lfp fit into that segment yeah no really good questions Arnie. and uh, i'm glad that you asked them because in fact um i mean i'm looking at internal statistics that we're generating and it looks like uh, large scale energy storage and smaller scale energy storage you know in in people's houses um is going to be a larger segment much larger than than all of evs i mean everyone's talking evs all day long but when you really look at uh, energy storage needs there's there's massive need to store um you know energy that's coming off of wind farms solar farms and uh, hydroelectric dams because that 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 is green energy it's very valuable so you have to store it if you don't use it you don't want to get rid of it you can't just ground it you need to store it and all of that is you know lfp technology is is the best um is the best technology for those kind of really large scale applications again it's because of costs um and you know the the ability uh, to roll it out so yeah large scale energy storage small scale energy storage um massive markets much bigger than EVs for um for 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 lithium iron phosphate batteries but also you mentioned uh, scooters uh e-bikes and uh small mobility vehicles uh very important there as well perhaps not as big as EV but also a very very large market yeah and just to uh, chuck in a number here from what i've heard in, in indonesia alone we're talking about 12 million scooters so yes they have a much smaller battery pack but uh, total volume 12 million that's a pretty hefty number. Yeah, and you do need the LFP battery in there because you know uh, thermal runway is an issue in, in, in those ones as well. We've seen some of the scooters catch on fire. Um, so it is important to have an LFP battery in them and uh, LFP batteries got good uh, charge and recharge functionality. You're, you're charging and recharging those every day. Um, it doesn't have uh, 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 memory issues. So basically, you know, it's very important uh, th- that, you know, LFP battery be seen as 
you know, not only a battery for EVs, but small, small scale transportation, uh, and also very, very large scale energy storage, like we were talking about the hydro dams, the, the, the electric uh, so solar farms, and the wind farms as well.